we'll just start off with if there's anything that you want to say or have been thinking about or anything that you think we should know. No, other than I told them, you know, uh, she wasn't she wasn't sick at all until the day he got there, which I thought was real strange. And he didn't come out to take care of her at all. Uh, she was up all night, and I kept checking out her. Uh, so the smoke. This is in North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The day he got there, he was like a real standoffish, but we never thought it. You know, just didn't think anything. Just didn't think he didn't feel good, or he's tired from the flight, or you know, we didn't think anything. He's just uh, I don't know. He's just acting a little weird. Like uh, distant, you know. I mean, if we had known any of this, like he was had was talking to someone else. I mean, boy, that would have been a whole different another story. Yeah. But uh, I mean, my sister, no one. I mean, she didn't act like anything was wrong until um, you know, at all. Nothing like it was normal, same thing as it always has been. She you know, never she, said anything to you about them not getting along. No. Or? No. Nothing. Okay. How close yeah. were you with her? Pretty close. She would tell me things like she wouldn't tell my parents. Right. You know, That's another reason to I'm talk to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, and she's told her friends things she wouldn't tell me. You mm-hmm. know, because she wouldn't want me to worry, and she knew eventually I'd probably tell my dad or mom. Right. So, yeah. Um, like at the beach when uh, she found out about her lupus or something, it was something going on, and uh, it was like acting up or something. She told me in like the elevator. She's like, "Don't tell mom and dad." I was like, "Okay." You know, this was like five years ago. Mm-hmm. But uh. You know, I was like, oh, thanks. You know, I feel special. Right. Thank you. But, um, but no, the, other than that, I mean, that's the only thing that I can uh, say. The, and I kept checking her, and she's always so private and so, like, uh, like not to worry about her. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. You know, I'm like, if I'm going to get you wet rags. She was throwing up. She was throwing up, and she was, uh, she said she had a real bad headache. She's always had headaches. Mm-hmm. That's kind of why she had a surgery in her neck. I guess that's why she had something wrong with her discs. Okay. And uh, she just had it, like, I don't know five six months ago she mm-hmm. had to wear one of them big braces she has a scar mm-hmm. but um um i mean i don't sleep good i'm always i've been depressed for a couple of years so i don't sleep till about five or six in the morning and uh, i'll sleep two or three hours and i'll get up as you probably can see and i sleep when i can and uh i don't know i just kept checking out you know i'm in and out smoking cigarettes or whatever and i go in and peek on her and she, she slept on the couch which i thought was odd and and that he never came out to see her or, or you know, he, cause he used to be like so like nurturing and so like, I mean, I was almost like, dude, you're a little much, dude. Like, who cares? I mean, who's, who's like that? You know, like he went from being like the best guy I could ever picture for my sister to this guy I could care less what happens to him. Yeah. You know, like I hugged him a week ago. Say thanks, man. Thanks for thanks for everything. Yeah, I'll see you. You know, and he helped me with my brakes on my truck. You know. Um, He's a very smart mechanic. He was trying to help me with them, and and uh, I mean, he's give me advice with them and things. You know, it was just so mind blowing. When 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 he did the interview, we kind of knew. I was like, oh, there's no there's no doubt. Especially yeah. with back in the truck and drive. Well, I was so mad. I wanted to get here, and I wanted to get him to the police station myself. But I'm glad that I didn't. That would stop me, <laughs> and they did what they did because he was stupid enough to say and you know, blurt out things yeah. so thank god you know because they'd probably still be missing you know we'd probably still be looking so um but i don't know that's the only thing i really um i, I don't know I was, i'm always i'm kind of private myself so i was like kind of in my room a lot so um i mean i wish i was hung out with them more like being depressed you kind of seclude yourself from people mm-hmm. and you know i come out when i feel good and i go out and play with everybody and i don't know it was, uh, if I had known any of this, I would have spent way more time and, you know, done way more things. But I figured out, so I was like, I'll see you guys in October. I'll come up for Halloween or something, you know, and go trick-or-treating with the kids. And, uh, um, the only thing, the other thing was weird at, uh, when Shannon, but this is, I think, for all moms, you know, like, she was on the back porch and, uh, I mean, the girls were could see her literally see her and she's on the phone like making a call and she's like okay honey just wait one minute and they're screaming like bloody murder like they would never see her again like screaming like like hey it's okay mommy's okay you know, see here she is mm-hmm. you know and they, they even if we opened door she'd go out to them and then they'd go play somewhere else they just wanted to know she was there like by them and uh, i mean that's a mom thing but but uh and i was like damn chris what do you chop liver you know and he was like yeah i know right and that was it, and then uh, I thought, you know, so I'm, I'm like a, my mom, you know, 
like, hey, Dad, hey, Mom, you know, it's, yeah. you know, it's a mom thing. Right. But um, I don't know. He, uh, he's um, dinner time. We had uh, Bojangles, and they had like these little separate. We probably don't know Bojangles. It's a chicken place. <laughs> I've heard and of they it. have little uh, things of uh, coleslaw, and he only had like so many for like the family, and uh, there was like one left. And I was like, Shannon, do you want it? She's like, no, you can have it. And Chris is over here scarfing his down, but he hasn't been there. So I was like, it's, I didn't think, you know, he, he, we already, had, they already had Bojangles once or twice and he loved it. He grew up at his house, you know, and uh, I was like, let him eat his, you know, and I was like, Shannon, you eat it. She's like, no, it's okay. I promise. I'm like, you know, just eat it. You know, she won't, she, she, I don't know, it's just how we are. We're both stubborn, you yeah. know, so it, it was sat there in the fridge forever till someone ate it, but I ended up eating it. <laughs> But, um, and, uh, I don't know, it's just, I have no, no idea, no idea where this would even come from. I've come up with different scenarios in my head, you know, I don't know. You know, like when you get mad at somebody and, and, uh, you know, I've been in arguments and fights with girlfriends and, you know, they say things that'll get you into a rage. You're like, oh, hell no, you know? Mm-hmm. And, you know, I thought maybe... He could have told her, or, or she was like, hey, well, where'd that 60 bucks go to on your little trip you went to to the baseball game? And I think he maybe could have told her what he did. He was on a date with his new girl, and she could have said, oh, yeah, well, I was with some guy in North Carolina the whole time or something, and that's, he could have done something and woke the girls up, and that's why he had to do that. I don't know. I don't know. I could never see him hurting my sister, let alone, like, smacking her. She, I've never even heard her yell, get loud, curse. It's, I mean... Seriously, like, you never heard unbelievable. Any no, I, violence I, between them? I, at our wedding, I, I'm crying, thanking God for him and being in my sister's life. they doing my speech, yeah. Yeah. So one thing I just wanted to clarify, you said um, she got sick when he showed up in North Carolina? Yeah, right? well, it was that night. Uh, we don't, I don't know. Um, um, we ate dinner, and uh, she was on, he's on one side, she was on the other, but it's, it's a table's up against the wall. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's just like, just the way it is, because there's not much room at mom's kitchen. I was like, I bet you guys missed each other, you know? Uh, you guys have fun tonight, you know? And they were like, yeah, you know? I don't, I don't know, now that I look at it, I kind of see it, but right. then I didn't, didn't register I didn't think anything of it at all. I don't know, she just, uh, I was in my room watching TV, it was about maybe two in the morning, and uh, I don't really know, it was late everyone was sleeping and uh i heard something going on and i went and peeked enough as the girls or her and i was like hey you all right you know and she's like yeah i'm okay i said what's wrong she's like, just sick and i said it was some pregnancy stuff and she was like yeah probably and uh she said i'm dehydrated and that's what she sent one of her girlfriends and she actually made a post saying she was dehydrated here in the south but she's not she drinks water like she's like no one's business really it's constantly and she eats nothing but vegetables and I have a garden in North Carolina, I'm constantly getting her cucumbers and my peppers and she'd make salads and things mm-hmm. and trying to, she's always healthy, always nut with that, you know, and uh, keeping the baby healthy, that was her main thing, you know, and uh, I was like, do you need anything, uh, can you take anything, she was like, no, I can't really take anything, I was like, that's things, you know, um, I said, well, what can I do, you know, she said, it's just okay, I'll let you know, and I gave her, she asked me for some shorts, I gave her shorts, it's actually, they fair out probably with me, I wear them. But uh, and um, I think um, I think I checked her two or three times, and I was just make sure she was okay. I'd like peek around the corner on the couch, make sure she was okay. And I think maybe she went in there so she didn't go back in her room, wake the kids up, maybe. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's what I was thinking. But I heard they got an argument that night on the back porch, so I don't know. I don't know what the argument was about. I was I wasn't even there, and uh, I think it's my dad or mom or somebody said it. They got a little argument, but okay. so you didn't uh, hear the argument. Someone no, told you they didn't. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know. If, I, I know it was about his parents and stuff that, you know, he had just gotten back from his parents. I think that was actually, I think that was the night before they left to go home, maybe, because they had already went to the beach, I think. It's hard for me to remember. It's just uh, my brain is shot, really. But um, it was one of the, it wasn't the day, it was the day we got Bojangles, if I remember. So I'm pretty sure it was the day before they left um, to actually go home. But, um, but I was like, you know, I, I was like, well, the guy want to hang out with his family, and she was like, you know, she, um, she was, she was gonna spend all week with us, and on the weekends go to his house, his family's house, so they all could all swim, see the kids, and she's got pictures all over to prove it, and you know, the the nut thing kind of set her off, and and the family could care less, so she said, screw it, I'm staying at my mama's house, my mom's house.